Hi everyone, it's Carlene Montes de Oca, and I hope that you are healthy and that you're doing well. Now yesterday, I shared with you a little bit about how science shows us that gratitude is pretty powerful medicine. I also shared with you about Bronnie Ware, the nurse who had found that there were commonalities, five commonalities, in people in their last days, and that people expressed a want and a need. They wished that they had allowed themselves to be happier in this life. Well, gratitude is one way that we can move towards a happier life. I always knew gratitude was powerful, no doubt. But what I never expected to go through was my own personal pandemic last year. And this solidified to me that gratitude can really help us through some emotional times in our life. Now, what happened to me, I still have to pinch myself because sometimes I don't even believe it happened. Let me share with you what happened. Last year, I decided to take an Ancestry DNA test just to see how much Portuguese, Spanish, and Jewish I had in my origins. And what I discovered was that I was adopted. Now, I have a huge family. I have countless aunts and uncles, 63 first cousins, countless second cousins, and virtually all of them knew I was adopted, except for me. When I tell this story to people, they usually ask me, well, gosh, how did you feel learning something like that? And the best way that I can describe it is that I felt like somebody reached into my gut and just pulled out that primal cord that all of us have that keep us together. And when that cord got pulled, it felt like all the pieces kind of just started falling around me. I felt untethered. I felt dismayed. I felt abandoned. I would start crying for no reason. There were so many, there was such an emotional upheaval that I felt inside of myself, but something else that I felt that was like this shining light was that I also felt gratitude, a profound sense of gratitude to my adoptive parents who basically saved my life. And I believe this profound sense of gratitude came to me in part because I had immersed myself in a gratitude practice. I had also just written two gratitude journals, Pause for the Good Stuff, a cat lover's journal for creating a perfectly positive life, and also Pause for the Good Stuff, a dog lover's journal for creating a happier and more positive life. So every day I was reading powerful, positive quotes that helped inspire me throughout the day. And every morning, I'd think of a positive power word for that day. And as soon as I'd open my eyes, I'd say thank you to the animals I shared my life with and the amazing ways they made my life better. And in the evening, I'd think about three positive things that happened to me throughout the day. The love of my family, the support of my husband, and my immersion into a gratitude practice is really what got me through a powerful time. For the next year, I went on quite the epic journey, talking to people, meeting a new half-sister, meeting my birth mother, and I'll be sharing that in a, an upcoming book. There are just way too many details to explore right now, but I'll let you know when that new book is coming out. But for now, just know that whatever your life challenges are, whether it's an illness that you're dealing with or the loss of a loved one or finding out like me that you're not who you thought you were, gratitude can help us in profound ways. And if you have an animal companion in your life, there is plenty to be grateful for as they can inspire us every single day. So tomorrow, I am going to share with you um, a little bit more about how Pause for the Good Stuff can inspire you and motivate you and help you on that journey to make your life a little more positive. Until then, stay healthy and stay positive.